What is going on guys and gals? Uh, thank you for coming and watching another video of mine. Uh, actually had some more ideas pop up today. If you didn't mind, uh, if you could hit a like on this video, maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, just, I, I, I see the, not the feedback, I see people who watch it, you know, the numbers go up on how many views and, and I really do appreciate it. Anybody who's uh, taking the time out of your day to view my videos. So, uh, it's kind of, you know, brainstorming at work today. What kind of videos could I do? And one of them came up that I have a hard time understanding this. So I thought I would do my best to try and give somebody new uh, coming into it um, an idea. And that idea is the, the, the concept of cross on a dirt chassis. Now, I started 20 years ago. So, you know, we're, I was on a, boy, was I on a? Coyote Thrasher, I think it was an inch and an eighth chassis back then. Back then, say the, the 90s, early 2000s, uh, those were what you considered to be low cross chassis. So uh, all the numbers now, nowadays, you know, 65, you know, 66, 67% cross. No, that back then you were looking at, you know, 52 to 56% to cross and the dynamics of the chassis were different in how they behaved. So on a low cross chassis, I consider those to be left rear dependent chassis. So the less cross you have in it, the freer the chassis would be, the more cross you have in it, the tighter the chassis would be. And that's all about planting that left rear tire. So it, it's, it's weird now to talk about it because I've been on higher cross chassis for this time. But that was a thing. If you say you roll out, say you scaled the car and you roll out with 52% cross and you are free, you would actually put cross back into the chassis in order to tighten it up to plant that left rear and get better drive off the corner. So fast forward to today, this is a 2017. I've been on you know more current chassis. Uh, I'd say 07. Uh, best I can figure, 09 is when the higher cross, your, your 60 plus percent cross chassis started to come out. And then you have, you know, extremes, you know, some people run over 70% cross. But since the newer style chassis came out, they're what I like to consider a, a preload system. So you're putting ultimate pressure between your left rear and your right front, and it's preloading the chassis going in the corner. So if you're not scrubbing off speed down the straightaway, you're perfectly fine, but it is picking that left front and just floating that left front down the straightaway. And as you enter, it's picking that, that left front, you're, you're on three tires. Now, higher cross chassis are what I like to refer to as right rear dependent. Now, it is completely opposite from low cross. The amount of pressure you put on your right rear is how tight or loose you're gonna be. The more pressure you put on your right rear, the tighter you're gonna be. So in order to free the chassis, you often have to add cross, which is just, it blows my mind because for so many years uh, running Unlimited All-Stars, I ran a low cross chassis. I was on a 04 Trick Panaz for the longest time. It was a low cross chassis. I mean, at most, I might have ran like 58% cross. Uh, and that was on a loose, loose track type of thing. So uh, on the, the, the preload, the, the high cross chassis, um, you know, there's, there's also windows. So I'd say 60 to 65, that's one window. 65 to 70, that's another window to where it goes from, from loose to tight, to tight to loose. It's very hard to understand, but there, there seems to be these, uh, five percent increments that it's it's like a cross wave uh as you go from you know 50s all the way up to 70 percent cross you know it really depends five percent increments they tend to go loose to tight or tight to loose so um say you have a 65 percent uh cross on your on your chassis all right th this chassis will be fairly tight at 65 percent now, as I increase it, it gets pressure off the right rear, which essentially frees the chassis, which is completely opposite from low percent. It's a, it's a very hard thing to understand and even more difficult to master that. So um, 
I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of questions or people saying I'm wrong. I, that, that's fine. Please, you know, any information, any idea, you know, be respectful about it, but put it down in the comments. Uh, and maybe I can make a video down the road that would explain my position better, or my, at least my understanding of what cross is. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try and knock out a couple uh, before it starts snowing here in New York and it's too cold to be jabbering out in the barn. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys later.